Hey guys, so after a long hiatus, I'm actually bringing back Dragon Age Origins for a bit. Probably just a couple episodes. I streamed it the other day because I wanted some company. And it's at the point um, where, okay, well I got the character who, you, if you're watching this in the playlist, Lynn, this will be the same character, but that I started on the 360. And somebody kindly gifted me the PC version of the Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition. So I got her caught up to that point, got Lynn caught up to the point where we had just gotten to Ostagar. So that's about where we're, that's about where we're gonna pick up. But I am live streaming, and I forget to kind of announce it in the beginning. Um, so it's gonna just hop into me being like, you know, oh, live streaming, yay, or whatever. But um, yes, so this is the same character. I'm pretty sure, basically, pretty much all the same dialogue choices. The the stats might be slightly different, but you'll see them when we get to that screen. But yeah, I just was really I, I should be playing Witcher right now, but I no, I'm kind of it's we're getting close to the end game, so I'm kind of waiting until I have more free time to really get into it. Um, and I just really felt like playing Origins for whatever reason. I just kind of missed it, so I wanted to play it. So um, the stream schedule is gonna uh, for sure be Saturdays around noon, 11 or noon um, my time, the MDT, the Mountain Time in the U.S. I might try to start doing Wednesdays at around 10 or 11 in the morning um, because that's between shifts for me. But that's when we did that. We did this stream on a Wednesday. So this is long. But yes, yeah, so we're getting in at Origins again just for a little bit. I don't know if we're going to keep going with it steady, but I will definitely be streaming it off and on. And yeah, that's my plan so far. So thank you guys for listening. I'll see you in a moment. No, thing. I can't. I don't know. I, don't, I actually have never streamed with, with freaking. I've never recorded with a microphone and a keyboard. So I'm trying to figure out where my, where my microphone is supposed to go. You've been nicknaming all your characters to Bioware characters? Nice! I, uh... My Stardew Valley farm is named after... It's, it's the Bioware farm. And I've named all my animals Bioware creatures. Bioware things. Your Magnetus Legion? How cute! That's cute! All right, for those of you here, if you remember, this is Lynn, my Dalish elf who was uh, cocky and in love with Tamlin. And I am definitely freaking, I, 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 got, I got her to this point last night where we left off, because I'm playing on the PC version now. And my last, last time I played her was on the 360. So I'm still trying Make to get used to things. You, my lady. I did try to get the mod to work for the Grey Warden armor, but Duncan was not wearing the Grey Warden armor, so I'm assuming it's not working. Hey, oh, you must be the nice! The Duncan nice, your Psyduck named Caden Alenko out into the world via Wonder Trade. <laughs> That's awesome! This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? You can only hope it'll find its way eventually to someone who appreciates it, I guess. Tell me about used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Don't laugh at me, everybody. I will be putting this on YouTube, by the Lowlands. way, so welcome you to YouTube, people. You were just on the people. eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Important. Um... But yes, no, Lynn's the Dalish Elf, um, oh, I need to put, uh, subtitles on. Go on, then. But this will be Good going up you, on then. YouTube as part of the second season of Origins. I should be playing Witcher or Mass Effect 3 or something, but I really wanted to play, yeah, I really wanted to play this. Subtitles, coming in and have a dialogue, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we definitely have to have the tutorials because I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, whatsoever. Origins is your favorite by far. I just freaking love it, like, to bits. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. The mages must not be interrupted. <laughs> the spirits are They're like, insane. stop trying to do that. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead, or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they That's are not what to your be doctrine tells you in the freaking. I guess I can poke people in the eye with a mouse. Poke, 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 poke. 
<laughs> Pokemon is keeping you from finishing Inquisition, which is keeping you from starting Mass Effect. Man, it's a hard life being a hardcore gamer. <laughs> so many games to play. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. Has Wynn met Duncan before? You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Uh, I've seen quite a few the mages circle today. sent many. Mages have always helped in past blights. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems this able music. to This music! Uh, you faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? I love that Wind just goes into, like, freaking lecture mode all of a sudden. We call it the Beyond, but I know of no connection. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many so spirits. So your spirit Some leaves your body when you dream, apparently? So. At the heart of the Fade Scary. is the Black City. <laughs> Dude, Subby, that's actually really good. By the time you finish the trilogy, you cannot leave this music! I know! Have you been watching the Bioware livestream? The Bioware livestream is amazing. Mugman is my hero. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched the Bioware livestream, do yourself a favor and hop on over and check it out. Like, they have going, they have a fire crackling, a guy holding a mug, and they're just playing on like shuffle every single muse, every single like song from <laughs> that watch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. They have every single song from Dragon, the Dragon Age series and the Mass Effect series. It's amazing. I wasted so much time yesterday watching that. <laughs> and the comments were hilarious. People in the comments like were so funny in the chat. They were, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. But no, Subby, that's a good that's a good idea because by the time you finish a trilogy after all of this, Andromeda and its DLC will be out and you won't have to worry about any problems that we the rest of us have playing it on like the first day. Uh so Darkspawn are just dream spirits. Sadly, no. They are kin to neither the gentle fate spirits. I love that live stream. I was having a bad day yesterday Shamefully. and I just they had it on in the background, and I was like, oh, Some say yes. The Black City was once the seat of the Maker. The music! But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth. Where also, they if anybody has any spawn. recommendations At for least mods, that's what the Chant of Light says. let me know. I'm making a list of mods for this game. I'm try. I think I have the basic idea. I obviously don't because the Grey Warden armor isn't working, so I'll have to double check what I did wrong with that. But I'd like to get a list of mods. If there's any like graphic enhancement mods that are decent, I don't. I don't like things to look weird and plasticky, like too perfect. Like a lot of mods in Inquisition, and I've noticed that people like will put on their own characters. They make their characters look too perfect, and I don't like that. Um, but. I'd like to maybe have some enhancement mods. Oh yeah, there's gonna be there's definitely gonna be three three or more super important, super expensive DLC. Dalish is ah Dalish is that's awesome. The Tumblr makes a ton of mods. All right. Oh pen. Oh, why was I having a bad day? Because I didn't get to have my nap. Because <laughs> I worked my 4 a.m. job till about nine. And I'm quitting that job because of reasons. And it's just it's just time. It's been good, but it's the one that I've been working there for like six years. So I'm kinda done. It got me through college and now I'm done. But I have my evening job also and I was just not feeling up to it. Dalish It's if I can spell. Okay, I'll check out. I'll check out her blog. Squeak. Um, but yeah, no, it's just having two jobs in the extreme hours is is difficult, and I was just tired and hungry. 
It may be allegory meant to teach so us. It was nice to have that live stream in the background. Suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Uh I'll just kill every dark spawn I see. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. We're but cocky. I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. That is no failure, my friend. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Wow, oh, yay. Death and destruction. She tags so, them as mods. Okay. Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? She's pretty. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh, well. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Uh, what'd you think I'd be? Not an elf. Yet, here you are. <laughs> the name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. Oh, gotta love people trying to lecture the Dalish on Chantry stuff. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it, it's uh, I always wish there could be a little bit more, you know, in the way of I'm Dalish. Don't, I don't like sometimes it seems like the game just thinks you inherently know what's going on. I'm like I'm Dalish. I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare. No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Ooh. Um. The wilds? We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here. Miles and miles of... Yay. My home village isn't far. And I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Why is it... Oh. Uh, why... Mm. Why are the wilds Cannibals, burning? beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too the PC version for me. Makes my nose twitch. This PC I version does look better. I guess we'll have to wait better. and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. For sure, for sure. Um, I wouldn't be here if I did. You take what you get, right? Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay, little hand twitch. Hand twitch. Wow. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? How oh, dare you address me so, human? What? Oh, uh, you're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I, uh, please forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and no, not. I've been waiting for. There's like three. Oh, it's simply been so hectic. Oh, I never thought. But please, pardon my terrible manners. I, I am just the quartermaster, yeah, yeah, yeah. a simple man, no one special. You are forgiven for now. Thank you. Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? No, bye. Just Make her be with you in the coming battle, friend. Just wanted you to yell racist things at me. Tomorrow's your last day at uni before the Christmas break. Freaking hallelujah, right? Oh, let's not talk to Alistair yet. Uh, I will talk Welcome, to you. Welcome, young woman. I should go. Ah, who are you? I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of major. He's got beautiful eyes. But instead beautiful of casting eyes. spells and reading, t oh, it man, is a time-consuming read process, but Slow. invaluable. You Enchantment are... okay, you speak strangely. allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? No. Those I don't. with magical talent attract demon even those with minor anyone yep. with the power. Thus I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and uh, talent. I am sounds no Sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Else. What may I assist you with? Oh, dude, your parents are going to freaking Germany, though, man. I'd love to go back to Germany. Uh, Deutschland. I'd love to go. Again, it was fun. But you got the house to yourself. Party! Freak, yeah, party. Oh, yeah, totally party with yourself. Oh, yes. 
Funny that Tranquil does acknowledge that you don't know things and is super respectful about it. I did, yeah, I did notice that because I, I don't think I had that option before when I played a mage. The, do you understand what a Tranquil is? And I'm like, no, I don't actually because there's no Tranquil in the Dalish. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into item. The Tranquil have learned their runes and we so it's use just them runic to magic, apply so theoretically a anybody can do this. Effects. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that our runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become. Goodbye. Okay, bye. You've got nothing against Germany, but your ass really do Dude, I would love... I mean, I always enjoy when, like, the house is me to myself. Like, it's great. It's funny that I brought up the live stream to my mom, and she's like, so you buy Parmesan bites? Because I always give my family some. Good, <laughs> I was like, I, like I wasn't going to, no. Breed. Give me doggy! Lord? I could use some help. Give me doggy. Uh, what's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor round swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help. I need him muzzle first. Why have we not investigated this as a route? Like, why? Apparently, does this work on dogs, but it doesn't work on humanoids? Like, elves or dwarves or humans? Just how smart is this dog? Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. And Most who bred the Mabari the first? You know, who is Trouble that? is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. Exactly, I know, right? Re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? Uh, can he be imprinted on me? Try, but first we need to muzzle and medicate him. The long Dalish tradition. Back in the Dales, anyway, the Dalish had wolf companions. Many of the hunters would have, at least in Inquisition, that's what those, a lot of the statues are for. They're like dedications to the, to the wolven companions, to the hunters. So she'd be super stoked. She'd be like, "Score!" Why do you think I can muzzle him? You're a grey warden, or soon will be. All wardens are immune to the dark spot. Yeah, and I'm already, the I'm already tainted. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd oh, really Lemon Z! To to put him down. Nice, Lemon Z. That Ferris says that they're descendants of a Tiffin. That's right. That's right. I vaguely recall that now. He'll just walk in and kill him. No. See this dog, and I feel like Lynn, like especially in this moment, like she'd look at this dog and she would see a mirror of her own pain. Because unlike any of the other origin stories, the Dalish Elf is the only one where you're actually tainted too. So, Doggo here is feeling basically the same exact pain that Lynn is feeling, and she would feel a great empathy for it, I think. And sort of latch onto it after she lost Tamlin, that maybe she could save this dog even though she couldn't save Tamlin type thing. Um... But, also, have they tried giving the ritual to dogs? Because I know in the book, The Last Flight, they try doing the Grey Warden joining on the griffins, and it goes, usually it goes horribly awry, and they, they go berserk and kill everybody. But... Uh, in The Last Flight, they found a way to make it happen, and then it still killed them all. Oh, did he just say to venture mages too? Ha ha, I wasn't back there, just subby. You were lemon see, ha ha. <laughs> I recall most things Fenris says. Very tame, much pain, please help. <laughs> Grey Warden, dig. Heck yeah, put the muzzle on the dog. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. I will help you. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. The dig. Come to think dig of it, properly. are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Uh, coincidentally. No! What if Kirby's could learn to corrupt a blighted dog? No! No, he'd be unstoppable. I might be, why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Okay. 
Oh, where would I find it? it where in the world? Oh, dead wood that collects at the edge of Oh, I would know that actually probably. Plenty this time of year. Um, sure. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Yay! You there, Elf. What's your name? Oh, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turnlow Gain that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. His Babari yes, is sir. awesome! Right away, sir. Like, it's all black and red. It's cool looking. Make his breath, not this elf. man is extremely you? handsome. But he looks like somebody, like a, like a famous person. Also, hello. Hello. Um, I happen to be a Grey Warden, human. Now, I'll say you have a problem with elves? Not in particular, except for them being so thin-boned. You make good messengers sometimes. I'm gonna bite your face! Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. Is that... who's... is that like... I'm like Anders almost. You don't look like other soldiers in the army. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. That's cool. But you're obviously not made of ash. Do you take everything so literally? <laughs> Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf son he doesn't first understand sarcasm. the sarcasm. <laughs> it is an old tale. I would love to hear this old tale. I am no bard, but I will do my best. Matthias was a clean tribesman. Oh, Some said clean. he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance. When he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe, she taught Matthias oh, okay. to use the dwarven battle rack voice act. It's to summon his strength actor. and ignore all pain. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Matthias doing, then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. And they feasted on blood and lived happily ever after? Not in this tale, friend. Matthias' <laughs> prowess earned him the love of Morgana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. Unlike, yes, unlike Skye Anders, who speaks fluent sarcasm, exactly. Matthias was grieved. Morgana. In the end, Matthias slew Morgana in single combat. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Matthias an honored burial in the what mountain. Happened to his wife? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain, along with a final night of passion. Then she was gone forever. Why would she, she do lived that? on in Orzammar. I mean, Only that. the dwarven folk could say for certain. So he betrayed his wife and killed his lover. He was a great man with great passions. Perhaps you'll hear a more inspiring version in a tavern someday. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And the Templar greets you in Lothering. I think somebody mentioned that to me the other day. Like, I need to pay attention. And the captain is Emma, is Malehawk. My goodness. Goodness. They certainly reuse their voice actors. That's fine. Because you could, I can only hear it a tiny, tiny bit. Just in like, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't ask for We you. harness the rage inside us. Nurture it. And draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. I want to play a, a I play an Ash Warrior. But we've adapted it to that is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with is his. That, is a dog that good in combat? A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of it. What are you preparing to scout for? Scout the wilds and watch the progression of the dark spawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my house Sammy. survives the blood of his was like, hello, Garrett. <laughs> he dies. I shall mourn tonight. Banners is also in a lot of background voices at a higher pitch. Yeah, I'm really bad at detecting voice actors. It survives the blood. What do you mean? Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive... The wardens... Those who survive are blinded! Drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today... We hunt and we kill. Why have you they painted you sent them? to So we paint ourselves with caddis, which over. Okay, bye. Thing. Okay, trying to get the codex entries. Also, it's good to always, always good to re-listen to this stuff. I think. Oh, actually, oh, oh, oh! I want to try and talk to uh, Taryn Logan. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. 
He's Alarith, the merchant in the alienage. Oh. And Carver's too. <laughs> Wait, what? You approach the tent of Town Logain. State your business. Uh, tell me about him. How can you not know of Logain? Because I the don't care about human affairs. He was the King Marek rewarded him by making him a town. Without Logain, you can yeah. bet the king wouldn't be winning What's against these darks. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. I would like an audience with him. I suppose you have a message for him. <laughs> Hold on. No, I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. How do you know that? His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Yes. Um... No, I didn't know that. I'll say, I'll say, ooh, uh, ooh. A fascination you don't share. Or no, I didn't know that. No. You've never requested an audience with Elgain, actually. Never. I knew. Well, uh, the three times I've been to Ostagar, or this this will be my third time being at Ostagar, and I've never done it before. So I was just kind of intrigued to see if I could. <laughs> uh, fascination you don't share, or no, I didn't know that. Um, what would a, what would a cocky what would a cocky Dalish elf say? Uh, let's... No, uh, fascination you don't share. The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. I see you're a Dalish. Marek knew a Dalish elf. Ha <laughs> ha saw an Wait. equal with the bow oh, before boy. or since. And I suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I certainly hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Um... Wow, okay. It just seemed to be out of character, but then... So I was picking up random smuggling jobs with the world ending. I think, um... This character, she's just very headstrong. And she just, if she found out this was Taryn Logan's tent, she'd be like, all of a sudden, I think it'd just be like one of those random things to enter her mind and be like, I want an audience with him just to see if she could. And then when it worked, she'd be like, oh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. And if he doesn't, he seems like a fool to me. The Dalish don't have kings. You don't seem very fond of him. Hmm. I say the Dalish don't have king, but I'm kind of also trying to figure out ways to make this conversation, like, learn more from him. Um... Oh, y'all. <laughs> World ending sounds like a great time to smuggle stuff and bother important people. Of course, it's the best time! <laughs> when else are you gonna do it if the world is ending? You might as well do it now. You don't seem very fond of him. Or... I think I wasn't very... I was very abrupt with the king, because I was... No, I don't know. I don't remember. I can't remember now. I'm trying to stay a character. Oh, girl. Um... Let's just go, you don't seem very fond of him. He is Marek's son and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, broski. Yay! That's... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We do want this information. I think. I want it. Greetings. Anyway. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Tell me about the king. I'll see, you know where I he believe is. he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. Tell me about him. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. 
Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming back. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? Mm. We'll see. That's how the Terran feels. He'll... The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. Oh! The queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Okay, bye. As you wish. <gasps> You've never played Orges, Lemon Z! That's okay. It's, a, it's an old game, as you can see. Like, I mean, look at that. I think this probably was really difficult. And they probably were really proud of themselves just to get these streams of light going through, you know? But yes, I'm a Dalish elf. I'm a Dalish elf, too. They're, it's a good story. I like it. The mage story was actually really cool, too. They're all really good. You don't need a good computer to play Origins. <laughs> this wretched thing is a dark sport. They're strong and cunning and smart. But seriously, but all the jokes they make tales. about... They can about be Darkspawn and Origins, they're all and they legit. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Oh, Don't freaking. Play a rogue. Play a rogue, too, because they're the ones who get the best this is options. This the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Oh, I recognized her voice, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Lemon Z, you want pretty mod hair? Yeah, see, uh, for some reason in Origins, I just noticed that a lot of the mods, they're, they're too nice, you know? Which is nice, in a way. Like, Inquisition, I definitely want some hair mods. The world before me is darkness, yet shall the Maker's light be my guide. Are you that elf that was, like, sent out with a message earlier? Actually, this is really depressing. It looks like he's about to jump. Don't jump, guy. Hello? Oh! I'm sorry, is there something you needed? I have never clicked on you before! Whoa, are you okay? Uh, No one just wanted to talk. Are you the new Grey Warden recruit? I, I was just walking by when I heard. It must be exciting to be so important. Wait, you aren't here to tell me I'm in trouble, are you? No, no, no. Uh, not that I know oh, of. That's a relief. I'm one of the king's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. He's very cute, very handsome. Hello again. Do you need something now? No. What do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? Uh, nope. I just wanted to talk. Are you the new Grey Warden recruit? It must okay. be exciting to be so important. What? <laughs> I'm one. If you fall, I better go. Uh, yeah, one more hello time. again. Nope. You need something now? Just saying hello. Oh, all right. Nice to see you again. You're very handsome. It was female hawks, boys. Okay, you guys are good. Hey, the dark spawn are the best. In the dark spawn are so scary in Origins. They really are. Almost, it's almost the low res like does them a favor by making them look even more grotesque somehow. Oh, one moment on the Citadel in Mass Effect 3 sounded familiar, and you realize it was the chat, the chanter from Denerim. The one, oh yeah, the one who like never shut, like she's like saying the chant, but she's always putting in food words. Oh man, that's awesome. I think that's really cool. Like it must be nice to know that if you're working with Bioware, like you, you, you know, if you work with them, you know, once and you do a good job, like they'll they'll take you back. You know. I like it. I like it a lot. I've never been able to find the night guy. Controls are a bit weird on this. I can't I can't go to the left or right. It only turns the camera. But I actually kinda like it. It's like smooth in a way. My sisters and gentle folk. We stand here on the eve Can't go up there to the left. Oh god, what no computer other computer just stop. 
Stop saying things to me. I'm busy. Don't try to steal. <laughs> Just between you and me. <laughs> oh, this because I'm an elf. They're talking to me like this. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties, I or I'll get the elves switch. could join the Grey Wardens. They can. Amazing. They can. Yes, be a lock, be a rogue, because only rogues get lock picking, and when you don't have a rogue companion, you're at a severe disadvantage for all the things you can't unlock. Can I go back and like? Take this quartermaster master to task for being a jerk. The voices of Flissa. Oh, I did know that the Flissa, but the noble from Sarah's personal quest. <laughs> That's awesome! Flissa's. They both sound like totally in character too. They were they were fans who won the competition. You didn't know even the NPC changed the dial. I know. I'm pretty sure they didn't. They weren't like that before. But yeah, they're like, they're more like oh sorry. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps. Never mind. Bye. 